Hi everyone, welcome back to This Book Belongs to Pam. And today, I am going to need all the help I can get to organize these shelves. So this has been a long time coming. I have been planning to revamp and I guess upgrade a little bit this space behind me as you can see i've already added one upgrade i'll talk about it later um, but i want this to be a very comfy space for me to read especially in the morning when the light is just so good i just want a spot where i can just lounge and read i usually read from our living room um over there but it's so dark um in our living room so it kind of hurts my eyes whenever i read there for long periods of time so I wanted to spruce up this spot in front of my shelves, of course. Before that, I need to go through the shelves and just organize it a little bit. I actually filmed an organization video a couple of weeks ago. I'll insert some clips here, but I ended up scrapping that one just because I didn't do a good job at filming. I didn't talk to the camera much. It's just, it wasn't good. Um, but in that video, I actually separated all of my um, red books and TBR books. I combined the series together and I sorted them in alphabetical order according to the first name of the author, which I thought would be easier for me, but for some reason, I guess there's a reason why everyone organizes it according to the last name. So maybe that was such a stupid idea, but we're going to reorganize these shelves today. I kind of want to try organizing it by genre and then alphabetical um i loosely still want to separate my red books and my tbr because it's easier for me to have that at a glance look like a shelf a couple of shelves if i'm being honest with you that has all of my tbr so i think i'm still gonna separate them but i am gonna organize them according to genre first and then alphabetical i don't think i'm gonna separate adult from ya i just don't have enough books to do that um but yeah let's get this process started also i'm in my house coat so let's i can't you know i can't get dressed up and then labor over the books it, i'm gonna get so sweaty so you're just gonna have to deal with this so yeah let's get started i suppose okay um i hope you can see me still it's kind of hard um hold on okay now i can stand um so what i have here at the top are all fantasy books that i have already read um the entire i guess series of or if it's a standalone with the exception of this one just because i don't have any other spot to put this in but i'm not sure if you can see it in the video because there's like a tilt and there's a distortion but this shelf is so much taller than this shelves that's because i only have a limited amount of um shelves and the middle shelf of the billy bookcase you can't move so i just had to like make do with what i have i hate it when there's a huge space on top of the books um that's why i like compress the shelves together that meant that the last shelf was so high so my solution was to get another shelf so obviously if i get another shelf i'm gonna get stuck with a very very short shelf so i'm thinking of having that short shelf in here Kind of like that so that i can put them um, books lying down on the side and that can be just sort of like an accent decorative part of the shelving that's my idea but another problem that i've been having um with my bookshelf is that this specific um billy bookshelf i guess color material has been discontinued and i absolutely love this one but they discontinued it so now i can't match <laughs> my bookshelves um which irritates me but i did pick up the extra shelf in this dark i think it's the black brown oak dark oak i, I have no idea but this color and it is not the same this one is a lot warmer this one's a lot cooler but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually put this extra shelf down at the very bottom right here so that way you can't really see any of it so that's my solution for now I 
last train Life's going straining just to catch a glance Raining in everything I left behind To catch a glimpse of moment Picture stars okay, and trees Okay, so this bottom shelf um, I want this to be my Filipino literature shelf So I'm going to start from the rightmost side And I'm going to fill it with Filipino literature And then I'm for sure going to have some gaps here on the left side Which will just be the continuation of the TBR shelves that is above. So for Filipino Lit, I'm going to combine both those I've read and haven't read just because I want all of my Filipino Lit beside each other. Okay, <laughs> now that I've piled them all up, I have so much fantasy, like all of this is fantasy, this two pile, romance, this one is contemporary, um, actually I'm not sure, is Adela considered fantasy? Um, I wouldn't really consider it fantasy, um, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. This one is thriller, mystery, horror, they don't have enough graphic novel. And then historical fiction. Given the amount of fantasy that I have, I think I'm gonna organize the fantasy into YA and adult. And then the rest is just their own genre. I am gonna try and see if I can fit all of the thriller here, or I don't think I can, but I will try. And then I'll just extend it upwards, um, depending on the space. That actually fits quite well. As you can see, all of my mystery, thriller, horror is in here. I didn't organize by those subgenres, just by last name. And I also kept the ones that I've read in there as well. Um, I do have some space in here. I could fit something. Um, also, I did put um, graphic novel here just because I don't know what I'm going to put in there. Because I can put my... Um, historical fiction but I don't want to break them apart I don't know we'll see Okay, so now I have Filipino literature, mystery thriller, horror, historical fiction, graphic novel, all of my contemporary literary fiction up until there. And then from Thea Williams, Seven Days in June is romance up until here. And then this is gonna be fantasy. <laughs> now, I don't know how I'm gonna make everything fit, but we shall see. Oh yeah, I have to sort by adult and young adult first. <laughs> okay. fantasy young adult fantasy um, I think I'm gonna put adult fantasy at the top and then proceed with young adult <laughs> That is 
YA in there. I also put little grades in here. So how do I fit this into this? Like, I honestly have no idea. Okay, I have a problem. <laughs> um, the only spaces I have left is a thin one here, something here, and then this are the books that I need to fit. The Miss Bourne trilogy and this one. I even phased out some of this book so I could put the sequels behind it. So I don't know what else to do. Let me just think for a bit. Oh my god, I actually did it. Wait, I have a meeting in two minutes, so hold on. One hour later. Hi everyone. Okay, so this is the final, I guess, outcome of my reading nook. Um, I assembled this chair, reclining chair, last night. Um, I really like how it's red. <laughs> red is one of my favorite colors, and also it's not as wide as other reclining chairs. Is why i picked it i just really want to be able to read beside this big um balcony door so that i have the natural light i'm honestly not 100 percent happy with how the books turned out just because i've had to make some decisions in order to make everything fit so i'm gonna walk you through all of the different i guess sections that i have for this bookshelf okay up here so i have this um cabinet um, beside my bookshelf and it just houses a bunch of my tripods, lighting, just random things and this one I haven't organized yet but that will be camera stuff, smaller tripods, um, hard drives, I don't know, just like camera filming stuff. That's the purpose of this cabinet but above that I actually have my, um, I don't know what to call it, like the classics shelf um, but as you can see from Interview with a Vampire to Charlotte Bronte are like, I guess, classics. But due to space constraint, I've had to put my fairy lit editions of Margaret Rogerson's books below. But I think they look quite good together um, because of the style of the books and everything. So I don't mind that much. Um, I just don't like how tall it is, but there's nothing I can do about that. To the right, I have my fairy loot. Um, secret i don't know what to call it they're like the secret boxes um the ones where you could open it up um and put things inside this one has my sticky notes um for annotating this one has my tabs and this one has bookmark at the very top of my shelf i didn't change anything i have my full metal alchemist um full metal editions up there i am trying to collect it i have my hobonichi box for this year and this random gumball machine. Just, there's a story behind that, not a story for now. <laughs> and then up the top is my adult fantasy. I gave up on organizing <laughs> between um, read and unread books. So they're all mixed in there. I just have them organized by author's last name. I've had to put Jade City face out so that I have the sequels behind it. I don't know how I feel about faced out books, but that's the only way that I can make things fit right now. So one question that I got from YouTube is what are my favorite books per shelf? 
for this one i mean if it isn't obvious it's jade city <laughs> jade city is my favorite which is why i'm happy that it's face out like that um of all of this i also have not read everything <laughs> except for jade city so it makes sense that it's my favorite as well i love the green bone saga trilogy and it is something that I recommend to a lot of people when they ask me about fantasy recommendations. Moving on to this very thin shelf. Honestly, adding this thin shelf reduced the capacity of my bookshelves, but I think it's worth it just so I can have this standing instead of like stacked like that, the way I had it before. The books here are not there because they're like organized by any means they're just the books that fit there so i have the uh, villains duology i have adi larue this is i'm forgetting the name of this book but it's a fairy loot edition and the chunky priory of the orange tree and from this my favorite would have to be Oh, that's difficult. It might be a tie between Adi LaRue and Vicious, but I think I gave Vicious 5 stars. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm gonna give it to Vicious. Um, moving on to the shelf below that, this mostly has my YA fantasy and then Mistborn. <laughs> so I also have Mistborn face out because yes, the rest of the series is behind it. I also tried to do this um, alphabetically, but I've had to put this in here and oh no this is correct but this one is not <laughs> supposed to be here it's r um but it was the only one that it could fit in that spot oh just ignore that this one and this one are actually they're both not supposed to be there but i have no choice so my favorite among this one let me just see first which one i've read so i've read all of these i have read cruel prince i've read six of crows i have crooked kingdom but i'm lending it to a friend and then I've also read Mistborn, just the first book. Hmm, picking a favorite between Mistborn and Six of Crows is actually quite difficult. Um, I love Six of Crows. This is the book that got me back into reading. This was the first fantasy book that I've read in a long time, like decade. Um, and this started everything. So I have very fond, fond memories of um, Six of Crows. And I also read it on vacation in the States. We went to this snowy mountain. So it's just all around a very good uh, memory for me. Miss Born, on the other hand, is such a good book. I really love the political intrigue in it. I love all of the action scenes. So honestly, right now, it's just a matter of which one I value more. Sentimental value of Six of Crows or Miss Born. I'm just going to give it to Miss Born just because I think um, this one was just a lot more built, if that makes any sense. Um, but I highly recommend Six of Crows still. I'm sure everyone and their mothers have read it. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite between the shelf. Okay, moving even further down, we still the Raven Boys. We have YA uh, fantasy, and I have Gemina face out. Again, I have the other two books, which is Illuminae and Obsidio. In this case, I've only read Illuminae, um, but I have Gemina face out just because. I'm gonna be reading that soon, so I want it to be easy to get. Then I have middle grade i think house of hades is middle grade right riordan writes middle grade right i'm not 100 percent sure honestly but i put it in here just because i thought it was middle grade and then gallant i haven't read both of those and then magnolia park so i have all of the five available books and i have it face out just because it was the only way i could make it fit i honestly would not want to have magnolia parks face out because i do like their spines um, but I really don't have a choice. Um, I also have not read it yet. And I kind of feel like weird having it face out when I haven't read it. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. But <sighs> these are the choices we have to make. Um, so zooming out, picking my favorite from the shelf, I have not read much. Um, aside from Illuminae, which is behind this one, I've read The Darker Shade of... Why is it? The opposite way around okay i have to fix that i've read the darker shade of magic series and that's that so i'm gonna give it to a darker shade of magic and this one are really cool because i'm gonna show you this fine or the edges it has a map and if i flip them out it will all connect into the map of london which if you didn't know a darker shade of magic it talks about the different like three different londons going even further down we have my romance and contemporary and historical fiction show so i have a very small romance collection just because i 
read romance mostly on my Kindle. So it starts with Magnolia Parks over there and then it ends with Seven Days in June. I am also lending two of my L. Kennedy um, off-campus books. So when I get those back, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. So <laughs> And then it starts with contemporary and literary fiction here. So we have The Poet X. And then it goes all the way to Marcus Suzak's um, The Book Thief. And then this one is just a graphic novel that I'm just using as like a divider. Um, and then this one is historical fiction. So that's how I divided this section. My favorite in here, let me just see. Okay, so this is my favorite romance. So that's definitely a contender. I really loved 1K84, but I have not read it physically. I've only listened to it in audiobook. Oh my gosh, I love The Secret History so much. It's five stars. It's my, it was the last book that I read last year, and it was a five-star book. I've also read Stalking Jack the Ripper. I think I'm gonna give it to The Secret History. I really loved it, even though it was quite difficult to get into at first, but once I did. I was just enamored by it. I love it so much. This is definitely a close second. <laughs> Seven Days in June. My favorite romance of all time. Okay, moving even further down. My chair is in the way. I have arcs. <laughs> so these are just arcs. They're technically contemporary fiction, but I didn't want to break apart my Stalking Jack the Reaper series, so I just put them in here together. And then this begins my mystery, thriller, horror collection. Starts with Agatha Christie and ends in The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. Where Dreams Descend by Janela Angeles begins my Filipino book. So Filipino literature, books written by Filipino authors regardless of the genre. So that starts with Janela Angeles with Where Dreams Descend and until Ronaldo Vivo Jr.'s Ang Bangin Sa Ilalim ng Ating Mga Paa. The ones that I've read here are... House of Salt and Sorrows, I've read that. A Dowry of Blood, Devotion of Suspect X, What Moves the Dead, Behind Her Eyes, Where Dreams Descend, Smaller and Smaller Circles, Sikara Setenta, um, All the Lonely People, Nolimit Tanghere, first two books in the Janus Silang series. So it's a toss up between A Dowry of Blood and uh, What Moves the Dead. But I think I'm gonna give it to A Dowry of Blood. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. I love this edges. And yeah, this is just one of the best books that I've ever read. And I love how emotional it is. And this was my favorite book from 2023. And yeah, that is my reading nook. I also have a cart. Um, but it's mostly for like as a side table. It's this one. It's not organized yet. That is the bookshelf tour i suppose <laughs> let me know if you saw anything interesting i'm really happy with it even though i'm not a big fan of how things turn out um i will sit with it so that i know which ones i don't like and which ones i do like thank you everyone for watching this video i don't want to go on camera anymore because i'm so sweaty and so tired um but yeah thank you for hanging out with me and helping me fix my bookshelf and i will see you in the next video